in Karachi's hospitals, intensive care units for coronavirus patients are under pressure. There are only a handful of dedicated ICU beds still free in a city of 15 million people. They're racing to build new facilities, but local officials and doctors have been frustrated by the central government's decision to lift nearly all lockdown restrictions. We have noticed there is a sudden surge of cases after the easing of lockdown. Our medical services have been straight to their limit. We have not uh, we have not been able to manage our cases, and we have been diverting our cases to other hospitals. And it's uh, tense and worrying for all of our healthcare workers. These were shoppers in the capital Islamabad shortly before the Eid festival two weeks ago. Since then, the rate of new cases has increased. The government is now introducing fines for those not socially distancing or wearing masks, but enforcement is likely to be difficult. Prime Minister Imran Khan, however, has been clear. With recorded deaths comparatively low, he believes poverty is a greater threat than coronavirus. There are 50 million people here who can't even afford two meals a day, he says. If we impose a lockdown like they did in Wuhan or Europe, what will happen to them? But critics say the government is sending out mixed messages, whilst conspiracy theories are spreading. A number of hospitals have been attacked by angry relatives. As rumours circulate, medics are being paid by the World Health Organization to wrongly declare patients COVID positive. Here, a mob tried to take a patient's dead body away, furious at the prospect of not being able to hold a traditional funeral, insisting coronavirus is a hoax. Tensions are aggravated by a lack of resources. I spoke to one doctor, aggressively confronted by a crowd of relatives of a critically ill woman who died with no ICU bed available. She's calling for more security and increased awareness. When they were attacking us, they were shouting and saying that if COVID-19 is real, then why is it not happening to the doctor? Terrible is a small word for what I felt that day. My husband, who is also a doctor, he was pushed inside the ward without PP to see the patient and he had to do the CPR of the patient without PP while I was outside trying to control the mob. Healthcare workers face other threats too. At least 30 have died so far from coronavirus. Doctors have warned of a lack of protective equipment for some staff and the dangers of undiagnosed patients spreading the infection. Officials insist that while certain hospitals might be filling up, there is still plenty of capacity across the country and equipment for staff has improved. But for now, the number of new cases looks set to continue rising. Sekunder Kamani, BBC News.